Hi, I'm Debbie Dalrymple, and today I'm going to show you how to create different headers in different sections of a Microsoft Word document. You may have a long document with different chapters, and at the top of each chapter you'd like a different header. You may also want no header on your title page. I'm going to show you how to create all these different headers in one document using Microsoft Word. So let's take a quick look at this document and see what we have here. Here we have a title page that has a header on it. If we scroll down, we see we have another header that looks just like the first one. And if we keep scrolling down throughout the whole document, all sections of this document have the same header. If I click here on page 6 and look down here at my status bar, you'll notice I'm on section 2. If I keep scrolling and click here on page 7, you'll notice I'm in section 3. Before you can change your headers for different pages in your document, your pages must be separated by section breaks. Section breaks are created by clicking where you need the break or where you want the new header to start, going to the Page Layout ribbon, and on the Breaks button, choose Next Page. What this will do is create a new section, which can have a new header or footer, and it will also create a page break all in one step. Now, if I click back on my title page, you'll notice I'm in section 1. So the first order of business is to choose which header or no header at all that I would like on my first page. I'm going to double click on the header to get into the header design ribbon. You'll notice the header is labeled header section 1. In section 1, which is only this first title page, I actually don't want a header. So I'm going to delete that out of section 1. Now up here on my header and footer design ribbon, I have a button that says next. Next takes me to the next header in my document. So I don't have to scroll for five or six pages to find it. Now because I deleted that out of the first header, notice this button here that says link to previous. This is the thing that always catches you up in your headers and footers. Before you modify this header, you must unclick Link to Previous. Otherwise, it would change the header on the page we just fixed. Now I'm going to put in the header that I want for Section 2. And then I'm going to click Next to take me to the next header in my document. And now you'll notice in this header, Link to Previous is on again. We must first unselect Link to Previous and then type in the header we'd like in Section 3. Now I can click Previous. I see that it, my header says Microsoft Word working with text. Previous, no header. And I can also go Next look at each one of my headers throughout my document. Once I have the headers that I would like, click the Close Header and Footer button, and you're back in your document with your headers all adjusted. So that's how you can create different headers and different sections in Microsoft Word.